And there are a lot of big issues at stake, and there will be some volatility along the way. But I do think if you look at the broader trade issue, the same underpinnings exist. It sounds like there's probably more progress on the NAFTA front, maybe behind that Europe, and China, given the scale of the issues, is behind that. But if you step back, looking at it from a long-term perspective, we believe there should be some resolution here. But there is obviously risk for all of us as investors. Right, all right, so, but if it gets bad before it gets better, how do you, I mean, obviously we don't know what's going to happen, but how do you view it from Blackstone's uh, perspective? Well, for a lot of businesses that are domestically focused, the impact is less. Uh, for businesses in the service area, less of an impact. When you start thinking about folks in the global supply chain, so if you're an exporter or you're a retailer, I think you have to start to factor in some potential friction. There could be some interruption. Your cost of goods sold could go up. And so I think you've got to incorporate that in investing, but not necessarily as broadly. And I would say the bigger trend today, this is getting obviously the most attention today. But the biggest focus probably should be on the strength of the U.S. economy, which has proven to be, I think, much stronger than most people realize. So I, I believe fundamentally these will get resolved. There will be volatility. Um, and, and there is risk, and escalation could happen. But in the fullness of time, we're hopeful um, that the parties will solve this. You know, I hear this a lot. Of course, we bring people on all the time on CNBC. There does seem to be this continued belief that rationality will prevail. But, I mean, Steve Schwartzman, your CEO, who spent a lot of time in China on your earnings call on the 19th of April, was saying China trade looked good, and NAFTA was a few weeks away. Um, and those are more or less quotes. Uh, it seems to keep getting worse, not better, even though guys like Steve, who have great insight both into this administration and China, feel otherwise. I mean, do you feel as though perhaps you just don't really have a grasp of it? I think these things are fluid. There's toing and froing. Um, sometimes there's posturing in these things. Um, enemies can become friends. Things can change quickly in these negotiations. I think reading too much, again, into the news of the day can get you very nervous. And as investors, it may say, oh, my gosh, i got to pull back, take everything out of the market, wait for the all clear sign. And I think that's a mistake. So um, maybe the problems are deeper. And it sounds like, based on the commentary today, the distance between the U.S. and China is further than people would hope for. But I'm looking at it, as I said, with this long-term lens, which right. is it's in the party's interest to resolve this. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.